Hello there and welcome to lower 6 maths A-level practice paper D. Here we're working on a trigonometry question. Calculate the value of minus 2 tan to the minus 120 degrees. Um, okay, that's easy enough. Get your calculator out and work it out. The answer to part A is minus 2 root 3. Just make sure your calculator is in degrees mode for this. It should have a little D above there and if it's not a D you need to play around with the setup go to angle unit and change it back to degrees. Okay, part two, a bit more difficult, seven marks this one. On the same set of axes, draw the graphs of y equals two sine x minus 60 and y equals minus two tan x. In the interval minus 180 to 180, showing the coordinates of the intersection with the coordinate axes in exact form. Right, okay, so let's move back to the other page and, and have a go at some of these. So, big axes, uh, we're going from 2 sine x min minus 60. So that's going to, the 2 on this is going to expand the y-axis by a factor of 2. So it's going to be expanded that way and that way by multiplication of 2. So our axes are going to here be minus, so plus 2 down to minus 2. And the uh, minus 60 here is going to move things right by t by 60 degrees. So for sine, uh, it starts at 0 and goes up and then down. So it's going to start now at 60. And it's going to reach a top of 90 degrees later. So that's 150. And then it's going to come somewhat down if we want to stop at 180. Uh, the bottom of this graph, well, that's going to carry on, go down, reach a bottom, and then come back up again. So the bottom here is going to be reached at minus 30, and then 90 degrees further back is at minus 120. Uh, if we go all the way up to the top here, that will be at minus 210. So we need to stop somewhere about there. Okay, so that's the first graph, and that's minus 2 tan uh, 100. So minus 2 tan. So tan originally looks like this. But minus will reflect it in the y, in the x-axis, sorry. So this is going to be, um, it's going to have a axis still at uh, minus 90 here. And 90, minus, so plus 90 here. And the next axis will be at uh, minus a uh, plus 270 and minus 270. Now it started in the bottom left, so I'm going to want it to start in the top right. It's going to be a bit higher than it was last time, but still go through 0, 0 there. And same for this one here. Carry that on going. That's going to intersect exactly at 180 degrees there. And this one here is going to um, intersect at minus 180 here and then carry on going down there. Okay, so that's what it's going to roughly look like. Let's transfer it over to this page here. So uh, the sine graph started at minus 180 and started above the x-axis, so it goes down. Then it comes back up. comes back down, so this is at 180. I'm just trying to make this look as perfect as I can for you. That's at 60 degrees there. Uh, the peak of this is going to be at uh, 150 degrees. Uh, this intersection point down here, I'm not quite... Uh, it'll be sine of um, minus 60, that's root 3 over 2 times that by 2, that'd be root 3. Um, minus root 3, sorry. Um, the next one down here, that's going to be minus 30, the minimum point there. This one here is going to be minus 2, 120, and this point is going to be minus 180. Uh, and the minus 2 tan graphs so will have asymptotes at minus 90 and at 90. It's going to come down here, intersect that point there and go down. And it's going to come down from the minus 180, and it's going to come from the top down.
down intersect at the minus at the 180 there. Okay, there we are. So this graph here is the sine one, so two sine x minus 60, and the tan one here is going to be minus two tan x. Okay, part C. This was part B here. Part C is explain how you can use the graph to identify solutions to this equation here. Well, what we do here is we set the equations equal to each other, 2 sine x minus 60 equals minus 2 tan x, and add 2 tan x onto the other side of the equation, we're going to get 2 sine x minus 60 uh, plus 2 tan x equals 0. Okay, so that's how it's going to work there. We add the 2 tan onto the other side uh, and we get um, 0. So this is going to happen when the two graphs intersect. That's how I've created the uh, first equation. Set the two equations equal. So this is equation one, this is equation two. So when the two graphs intersect, we can rearrange it to make that equation there. Find the number of solutions existing in between um, minus 180 and 180, we're going to get one solution here and one solution here. So we're going to get two solutions in between minus 180 and 180. Okay, there we are, 10 marks.